I said, what does coffee and donuts have to do with God? They're merely refreshments, so people can socialize and uh, discuss the upcoming activities. Whoever said that church needs a continental breakfast? Simon. An independent-thinking boy, a dwarf named Simon, interrupts a church service, and that's just one example of how he impacts his community, his family, and friends in Simon Birch. To my mind, one of the year's best and certainly most thoughtful and emotional movies is suggested by a character in the beloved John Irving novel, A Prayer for Owen Meany, and both book and film have a spirituality absent in so much of today's popular entertainment. Little Simon believes that each one of us is God's instrument, and he means it. And that kind of talk sets him apart even at Sunday school. The wonderful actress Ashley Judd, as the mother of his best friend, comes to Simon's defense. We can't have him talking that way. It frightens the other children. Oh, I think it's you it frightens Miss Levy. What? Why would I be frightened of little Simon Birch? Because that child has more faith than you'll ever know. Ashley Judd is becoming one of those rare actors whose very presence in a film is a guarantee of quality. Joseph Mazzello plays Simon's best friend. And you shouldn't talk about this hero stuff, Simon. Why not? Because it's weird. The other kids tease you enough as it is. I don't care. It's the truth. But you don't have any proof. I don't need proof. I have faith. 11-year-old Ian Michael Smith is completely effective, making his film debut as Little Simon. Jim Carrey plays the adult Joe, who in narration recalls the effects of Simon's spirituality. What faith I have, I owe to Simon Birch, a boy I grew up with in Gravestown, Maine. It is Simon that made me a believer. Simon Birch is more than gentle sermonizing. A singular event in the film challenges Simon's theories and is, by itself, an intensely dramatic interlude. That is a delicate balance, spiritual theories and action. But writer-director Mark Stephen Johnson manages it superbly. I was shocked to learn that his main previous screen credits include writing the Grumpy Old Men movies. I guess God's plan for him was to ultimately bring a prayer for Owen Meany to the screen. What a wonderful destiny. <laughs> I like this movie, too. Oh. I like the whole feeling of the town. I know that it's more of a Norman Rockwell town than a real town, this place in Maine, maybe 30 years ago. But nevertheless, in the evoking of that town and that little boy and his best friend and how they're both outsiders because the uh, larger of the two boys doesn't know who his father is. So he's kind of a misfit, and these two misfits get together. It shows a friendship that just transcends everything. And it's a funny movie. And it's a warm-hearted movie, and I loved it. Did the film hook you that much that you began to think about your own purpose and stuff like that? Uh, it didn't take that film. I've been thinking about that for a long time. My purpose is to give good reviews to movies like Simon Birch. That's what I'm on earth for. Well, I'm glad you arrived here today. When we come back...